All right, I am Alex Denning. I'm one of the production managers of Hana Tours this year, and also the scenic designer, at least partially, for the Crimson Community Hospital, which is part of what you're seeing right now behind me, which is a gore fest. I also do makeup, and also I've selected quite a bit of music for this year. Some stuff that you have to look forward to this year are incorporating other senses, such as smell into the haunt, which is one thing we've never done, and we're taking the audience for a roller coaster ride. All the way through the hunt, we're going to take advantage of every single resource we really can to make them duck under things, to become a part of the act instead of just walking through and looking at it. It's going to be completely intense and a lot more aggressive than it's been in quite a few years. Oh yeah, my favorite room. I have so many favorite spots, but I have to be the entire small hole. It's just my baby right now. I love the entire haunt, but my favorite is definitely the hospital scenes, especially since I'm going into nursing in the future, so I have a little feel for the hospital where I can really appreciate them a little bit more and to completely take it from what it's supposed to be clean and make it completely nasty. Like this. I'm just excited to see how intense we can make this part of the haunt actually be as it's leading up to the ground. Okay, I'm Nick Eklund. I am uh, one of the three production managers we have on deck and I am kind of in charge of the scenic design elements, a lot of the look of things that we got going on, some of the painting and uh, color schemes and some of the uh, just overall what you see is what I kind of help, uh, help the team figure out and work on together. Uh, one of my one of my favorite rooms this year is uh, a special little effect we've got going on in a full size subway car scene, and uh, I can't really tell you much about it because you're just gonna have to come down and see it for yourself. It's a lot of fun. I'm Jake Rover. I am the technical director and one of the production managers, along with Nick and Alex. Uh, I also do construction, uh, painting, and detailing sets. But the uh, main focus of my work is the lighting and animatronics, sound. Anything that moves or is not human, basically, is what I work with. So. One of my favorite rooms this year has definitely got to be this one right here. This is what we call the back alley scene. You can see it's, uh, we, we're pretty proud of it. It's quite detailed inside of here. Uh, when the lights are off and there's some fog going off, it really looks really cool. A lot of beams coming through. Uh, a couple of animatronics this year that we designed this year. A lot of our animatronics that you're going to see in the hunt this year are built in-house, meaning that they're not uh, purchased from somebody else. So they're one of the kind. We design them, we fabricate them, and we install them in the hunt. Uh, so it's kind of something cool that you're not going to see other haunts in the fact that we have custom electronics that nobody else in the world has. So this room definitely is going to be one of the cooler rooms we call the back alley. It's uh, pretty intense. Things that you should look forward to this year are a little bit longer of a haunt than usual. We're actually we've extended it quite a bit by making the tolls a little bit more windy and we've incorporated more rooms and a lot more feelings as you go through. You'll Go against the walls, it's not necessarily a good idea because you never know what you're doing. Yeah, this year too, we wanted to start fresh with ideas that we haven't really done before. I mean, we, we took some stuff that's worked before, but we've definitely taken a new spin on it, make it all fresh and new. But in general, the whole thing looks very fresh, very new. Uh, just a really new approach that we haven't done before. Uh, this year, you can really look forward to, we, we tried to focus more on uh, quality versus quantity, so you're going to see our sets being a lot more detailed, kind of like you see behind me here. Uh, we didn't want just flat black walls, we just painted walls, we wanted to make sure they had depth. So we, we, we start with a colored wall, add some texture to that, add some foliage, so maybe some camo netting you see back here to that, and made sure the rooms were really believable and that they looked like they were supposed to. We wanted to make sure that if someone's going to walk in, and we wanted the room to be a living room. We want to make sure that they know it's a living room before they walk in. We don't want to have to explain it to them. So you're going to see a lot of detail this year. We're also going to be attacking all of your senses. Sight, sound, feel, even smell this year. Only thing we're not going to do is make taste things. Uh, if you really wanted to lick the walls, I guess you feel that way, recommend it. Uh, we're going to attack a lot of the senses this year, so it's going to be a really inclusive part. We're going to make you move around. And you're really going to be a part of the show this year. You're not just going to be walking through as a patron. You're going to be a part of everything. Uh, so that our zombies can get you this year. Thanks to team. We're all really excited about this year. We've got uh, a lot of just different approaches with the, the new management team involved. Uh, we really wanted kind of to attack things from a lot of different angles. We wanted uh, a lot more viciousness and aggression going on. Uh, we really wanted to amp up the level of detail too. Uh, we all, all over the place. We've got a lot of uh, just fine-tuned features that uh, might easily get overlooked, but just enhances, fleshes out the scene more and makes it a more uh, holistic experience.
Uh, this year you can look forward to a lot of aggression, a lot of in-your-face stuff. We want to really ramp up the whole overall experience of the haunt. Make sure that it's really intense and in-your-face. No, no more of this popping up behind a corner saying boo and then disappearing. We want to make sure that everything that happens in here you are a part of. Uh, we want to make sure that you are, you feel like you're unsafe. The whole point of it is to make you feel like you are in danger. Uh, even though you're not, we want to make you feel that if this wall collapses or this person gets any closer to me, I could die. And that's what we really want to do. We really want to get the heart pumped and we want to make sure that it really feels like it's a real sense of danger. So we're going to be looking forward to that this year. It's a lot more intense than it usually is. This year, uh, this year I'm really excited about the sensory immersion that we're going to be giving our guests. We are going to try to take them over as much as possible. We're going to try to get them moving a little bit more how we want you to move. We are appealing to everything except your sense of taste. Uh, we are getting in your nose this year for the first time. Uh, we're a lot more to touch and to feel and to, uh, not just see and hear. Uh, we're going for pretty much the whole nine yards here. Something else we're very excited about in the visual side of things is uh, we've got quite a lot of new, brand new props this year that were custom made for us uh, by a company that works on uh, Hollywood props. Uh, we've got uh, thousands of dollars worth of some new bodies literally coming on deck. It's going to be a 